We're hurting. Our profession is hurting. Dallas officers are hurting. We are heartbroken. There are no words to describe the atrocity that occurred to our city. All I know is that this, this must stop, this divisiveness between our police and our citizens. To update you on what's transpired since we last spoke, let me walk through the standoff that had occurred or that was occurring uh, at El Centro on the second floor, the college there in downtown D Dallas. Uh, we cornered one suspect and we tried to negotiate for several hours. Uh, negotiations broke down. We had an exchange of gunfire with the suspect. Uh, we saw no other option but to use our bomb, bomb robot and place a device on the, its extension uh, for it to detonate where the suspect was. Other options would have exposed our officers to grave danger. Uh, the suspect is deceased as a result of de detonating the bomb. Uh, the reporting that the suspect killed himself is not accurate. We've confirmed that he's been deceased because of the detonation of the bomb. Our hostage negotiator did an exceptional job getting this suspect to talk before he died during the hours of negotiating that eventually broke down. And I want to share with you some of the comments from this suspect. The suspect said he was upset about Black Lives Matter. He said he was upset about the recent police shootings. The suspect said he was upset at white people. The suspect stated he wanted to kill white people, especially white officers. The suspect stated he will eventually, that we will eventually find the IEDs. The suspect stated he was not affiliated with any groups. And he stated that he did this alone. The suspect said other things that are part of this investigation so that we can make sure uh, that everyone associated with this tragic event is brought to justice. So as the mayor said, we won't expand on uh, any further on what other suspects uh, we have interviewed or looked at or their status until we get further into uh, this investigation and get closer to a conclusion of what uh, and who are all involved. Uh, but let me just say uh, just some closing comments about Dallas police officers and DART police officers. Some of the bravest men and women you'd ever want to be associated with. You see video footage after video footage of them running toward gunfire from an elevated position with no chance to protect themselves and to put themselves in harm's way to make sure citizens can get to a place of security. So please join me in applauding these brave men and women who do this job under great scrutiny, under great vulnerability, who literally risk their lives 
to protect our democracy. We don't feel much support most days. Let's not make today most days. Please, we need your support to be able to protect you from men like these who carried out this tragic, tragic event.